In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus told his disciples, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for my sake will find it. Once we were far off, but now in union with Christ Jesus, we have been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood, for he is our peace. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race, sent your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility, and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. A great number of the people followed him, and among them were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For the days are surely coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, Cover us. For if they do this, when the wood is green, what will happen? When it is dry. Weep for yourselves. He always had an affinity with tears. He noticed them. Even the hidden ones that drop inside the soul and keep falling even when your face is smiling and no one notices the grief beyond that confident facade. He always asked why. Why are you weeping? What is the story of your tears? He knew that we would never find an answer to our sorrow that was second hand or off the shelf. It could never be someone else's answer, no matter how compelling. Until we found the answer in ourselves, until we understood our own grief, until we were able to strip back the layers of pretense and see afresh the cause of our disquiet and our pain, we would always be alone in our sorrow. It would always be an emptying out of grief and never a filling in of grace. But if we saw just for a moment the heart of our dismay, our terrible separation from love, then we would also see the means of grace, see the face of God in this about-to-be-crucified man. So when the women who followed in the crowd wept and tore their clothing, he asked them not to weep for him, but for themselves. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, the women of Jerusalem wept for you. Move us to tears at the plight of the broken in our world. You embrace the pain of Jerusalem, the city of peace. Bless Jerusalem this day and lead it to the path of profound peace. To you, Jesus, the King of peace, who wept for the city of peace, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, 
now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. May God bless us, that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. 
Amen.